Good afternoon, my name's Ken Hughes. I'm the Head of Airport Facilities at Brisbane Airport Corporation. So we run an airside team and a landside team, buildings maintenance team. So the airside team haven't really seen a lot of change except for a lot less aircraft. So they're responsible for aprons, taxiways, line marking on airport and all the mowing airside. So, so they haven't seen a lot of change to them. It's just been a lot less aircraft. So inside the terminals, obviously the passenger numbers have dropped significantly. Our focus started off being on cost reduction and cost containment. So we were looking for everything everywhere where we could reduce costs. So we were looking at all of our contracts, what could be reduced, what could be stopped. Uh, and then also particularly we took a big focus on electricity consumption and how much we could actually reduce our electricity consumption across the airport. So that's obviously a big cost for the airport and a big focal area for us. It's now the focus has changed to how do we operate in the future? What's, what's the airport going to look like in the future? What do the contracts need to look like? What's the right size for all the contracts? And how can we still meet the requirements of the airport but also contain costs at the same time? Probably the change for the passengers is largely around make passengers feel comfortable that the airport is COVID safe, that you can come to the airport and that you will be safe by being here. So that's where a lot of the change is going to be in the future in particular, particularly our cleaning regimes, how the terminal's presented. Probably the biggest single impact will be in our cleaning and, and how we're going to clean the airport and what we're going to do to make sure that passengers are safe. They'll see hand sanitizer stations more frequently around the airport, so they'll be at all the entrances, all the entrances to the terminal and entrance to specific areas. They'll see people cleaning down things more regularly, handrails, touch points in the terminals will be cleaned down more regularly. And then also obviously you've got your social distancing as well. So you'll see all the differences in social distancing and where we've got crosses on the floor and, and the things you're starting to get used to to try and keep people separated. I suppose one of the big things working here is you've just worked out how resilient the airport is and how resilient the whole airport community is. There's a lot of really good people in BAC and a lot of those really good people have had to work together a lot closer and, and what we've done in a very short period of time has absolutely been outstanding and, and that extends to the wider airport community as well, the government agencies, contractors. It's amazing how everybody's been so willing to work together to make sure that the airport's safe and secure. It feels very good to be part of a team that's very coherent, focused and actually very dedicated to what they're doing and trying to make a significant effort and make things better.